Zoom now has closed captioning built in and available free for everybody, whether you're using a free or a paid Zoom account. It's simple and easy to set up as a host and to use as a participant. This video is going to walk you through the necessary settings, how to use it as a host and a participant, what happens when you record, and even look at it on the phone app. I'm Marcia Chadley, and I enjoy helping you feel comfortable to connect online. Auto-generated captions and transcripts in Zoom help you connect to a much wider audience. Let's look at the Zoom settings that you'll need to use to turn on live captioning in your Zoom meeting. Open up the web portal and sign into your account. Click on Settings, and then click on In Meeting Advanced. Scroll down and you'll see the closed captioning. You want to make sure that that is turned on, especially this one here to allow live caption service to transcribe your meeting automatically, and if you want to allow people to save the captions. As a host, you have control over the live captions and the transcript, whether or not they're being created. And each participant can decide how they want to see either or both of those. But you're the one who gets to turn it on. So you click the live transcript closed caption control at the bottom of your screen, open that up. You have a checkbox that you can set to allow participants to request the live transcri transcription to request that you turn it on. You also can turn it on whether or not somebody asks. So I'm going to turn those on and let you see what happens. I get this little message that says it's been enabled, who can see it, everybody in the meeting, and I've got it set up so they can all save it. Let's just turn on off that reminder. You can see that captions are appearing at the bottom of the screen. Right now you're not seeing any transcript. So the way I control what I see is to go to this little up arrow menu right next to there. I can hide the subtitle if I want, and it's no longer there. I can view the full transcript. There you can see the full transcript and you're seeing what's happening. Let me scroll down to the bottom. You can see everything as I'm speaking and how it's occurring there. The other thing you can do is to see both at the same time. So now I'm seeing both the subtitles and the transcript recording at the same time. There are some subtitle settings that you can pick. Let's you change the size and do some other different things. There's one more thing I would like to show you as a host. When a participant requests the transcripts and captions be turned on, you will get a message like this. You have the choice to enable it from here, decline, or decline and don't let them ask again. To give you an example of the quality of the transcripts and the closed captions, I'm going to read a quote so that you can see how Zoom handles it. True community is based upon equality, mutuality, and reciprocity. It affirms the richness of individual diversity as well as the common human ties that bind us together. And that quote was written by Polly Murray. Here I've joined a Zoom meeting as a participant so we can see what the controls are like from that side. I still have a live transcript CC control down here. When I click on that, it's going to request that live transcription be enabled because the host of this meeting has not yet enabled it. I can request it. I can even ask anonymously. So I'm going to request that. Now the host has enabled the captioning. I can see that right here get rid of that little thing. And now I can see the live captions that are being created because the host machine is actually sitting right beside me and it's hearing these words and putting in captions. Again, I should have the ability to hide the subtitle, also to show and view the whole transcript. The same things that I could do as a host, I can now do those and also work on my different settings. When I've joined a Zoom meeting on my phone, the first thing I'm going to see when I come on is it says that live captioning has been enabled. And again, I can see who's seeing the transcript. So I'm going to turn that off. And I can see the live captioning 
on my phone at the bottom of the screen. That's turned on. If I decide as a participant on my phone, I don't want to see that, I touch the screen on my phone to bring up the controls, go to more, go to meeting settings, and I can turn off closed captioning. Now when I go back, it's no longer updating those captions. What about recordings? That's something that we haven't talked about yet. If you have live captions turned on in your Zoom meeting and you're recording to your local device, to your computer, the captions and the transcripts are not saved. There is a button at the bottom of the transcript window that you can use to save the transcript. And when you do that, and you're also recording, when you look at the files saved from Zoom, here's what you'll see. There's actually two files that say closed caption on them. They're the same content for me. And when I open them and look at the text inside, it's the beginning of the transcript window. It's not the complete transcript window that I saw when I said save. So it sounds like there's a bug here and hopefully Zoom is working on that. If you're recording to the Zoom cloud, there is a web portal setting that you can set to have a captions file created, a VTT file created from those live captions. However, as of today, when I'm filming this tutorial, that VTT file is incomplete. It starts out okay, but it does not include the last part of the live captions before I end the recording. Hopefully that's something that Zoom is gonna work on. Another thing I do know they're working on is that currently only English captions are supported. And they're gonna be expanding this over the coming year to include more languages. So what are you gonna do with this great feature? Having automatic closed captions and live transcripts is a game changer. When are you gonna use it? And what are the languages that you would like to have Zoom support?